Because in the end, this is all about refining our condition of love. True spirituality is about refining your condition of love. That's all it's about. It's re- that's, that's the pinnacle of real spirituality. Just refining your condition of love. And, and that's what we need to bear in mind with this. So, so we need to understand that the whole reason why these parents attract a little child is so that these parents can refine their, their love. So they le- learn more about love that they didn't know and that they couldn't know without this child being involved in their life. Right? And so every child... And remember, this child is not your child. It's not your child. You just created the bodies for it. The child was already created as a soul, living in the, in the soul-based worlds of the, of, the, of the spirit world and waiting to incarnate so that it can learn about its own will, learn to know itself and learn to have an experience. That's the whole reason why it's coming. And this child is the perfect person to help you work through your love issues as well on top of that this this child is going to teach you things about god it's going to teach you things about the universe that you didn't know not because it knows them because it doesn't but because its very personality and nature will trigger you to get to know those things just automatically its personality will expose these things to you that's the beauty of the system so i i feel the truth is always very beautiful and and it's always very loving it's always very honest it's always very simple and and all of those things as well but the beauty of this system is that if these parents examined it from that perspective instead of saying i own this child how many of you believe in your child yeah we we even say it don't we we say i have three children (laughs) who what you have three younger brothers or sisters who are not your children. They are God's children. <laughs> they are your brothers and sisters. They're not yours either. They don't, you don't own them. You don't control them. You temporarily are involved in their life. And, and oftentimes they feel like it's far too long a <laughs> time that they're involved in your life, unfortunately. Now, if we learnt to love these children and to care about these children and honour the fact that they didn't have any will and they're learning about their will and they didn't know themselves and they're learning to discover themselves. They didn't have any experience and now they're having one and we honour that. And we also honour that this child is my brother or sister, not my child. It's, it's, it's a person who is potentially going to be even more powerful than I am. Potentially, because it's my brother and sister and he may choose to do more powerful things than I'm choosing to do. And he may do it by the time he's five. Because that's the potential of every one of these children. When I honour that, then I start to refine my love. And in the end, the refining of my love is true spirituality. That's the whole reason why God made this entire system, so that we would come to know love. And in particular, so that we'd come to know God's love, in fact. That's why God did that. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. So, so when you look at it that way, you start seeing every interaction with your children rather than being something where, oh, the children... Like, I've heard parents say this. Yes, I have treated my child pretty harshly, but they chose to live with me. Now that to me is the pinnacle of the justification of unloving behaviour. By saying that somebody chose to interact with you and so therefore they deserved your unloving behaviour is the pinnacle of unloving behaviour itself. And I've heard many people who believe in reincarnation say exactly that thing to me. Yeah. So, so what we need to do is we need to start seeing the world differently. We need to start seeing it as everything that I, I can change everything right now. I can make a different choice right now. Right now. I don't have to put off my choices. 
the only reason why I would put off a choice to be, do something loving is because of fear. The only reason why I'd put off a choice to do something more truthful is because of fear. Why would I choose such a thing? Why would I choose to remain in fear? The only reason why I choose to remain in fear is because I have emotions in me that justify my fear. That's the only reason why I do it. And I need to start confronting those emotions so that I can become more loving. And this little child who's been attracted into my life is a perfect individual to help me confront those emotions, to confront the unloving behaviours that I have. That's the beauty of it. And that's the beauty of the system. So it sort of brings us... It, it, is that okay if I've answered that? And if that, that brings us to this question of how the law of attraction actually refines our condition of love. 